Hi, hier ist Interview TV from Stuttgart. Right now with me is Esri Deutschland CEO Jürgen Schomakers. Hi Jürgen, welcome. Hi. Nice <laughs> great to, meet to have you again. You. And great to have you here. Thanks for your time and joining us. Well, um, yeah, I just mentioned Intergeo is happening right now. We're in the middle of the show. So what's the meaning of Intergeo for Esri? Yeah, Esri, Esri and Intergeo, I think it's a, it's a, it's a combination of, a, of, a, of success, which we had over the last 30 years with Intergeo. It's a, it's a, it's a must-attend program for us. Um, we have um, so many applications to show on the one side, and we have so many different possible customers and people here which can give our, our, our new innovations. So it's an, there for us an, a, a yearly opportunity which we don't have in other areas. So it's a clear one where, for us, it's a must-attend program mm -hmm. every year mm -hmm. to be at Intergeo. Yeah, and of course, Intergeo is a showcase for innovations in the geospatial sector. What did ESRI bring with them this year here for showcasing at Intergeo? Yeah. So this year, it's all around digital twins. So it's okay. our, our main topic, digital twins. And we're showing everything around data capturing. We're showing 3D modeling. We're okay. showing AR, VR things. And of course, we're also going into highly new innovations like using GeoAI, using large language modeling. So the, all the topics of uh, artificial intelligence is one of our innovation topics this year. And therefore, I, I think our, ex our visitors can expect from us everything which is possible to build up a successful and useful digital twin. Yeah, it's a real trend, integrating um, AI-enhanced GIS solutions within digital twins, and AI is anywhere, in any technology or solution or software, we can see it anywhere, and make things faster, quicker, smarter. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Denise. It's, uh, from our point of view, it's so AI is not new for the geo in industry. So we are we are using um, AI since years for data extraction, using data out of satellite imagery or imagery. That is not a new one. Uh, I think the new thing in that area is that we have today we have the compute power and we have the power to do it with really large and big data models. That, that's one topic. But I think the, the, everybody is really really excited about is of course everything which ha happens around large language models. So the, the AI we, we can see in other areas from OpenAI or from Google in that area. And of course, this will also be a big transformation in the geo industry. Okay. From our point of view, it, it, what, what will happen is that we will have uh, models on the one side and that we, have, that we have interaction possibilities on the other side, which opens a complete area of geo information, not only to specialists like here, but also to, to the normal people so that mm -hmm. you can ask questions and the AI is giving you the right answers by analyzing a, real, a huge variety of data on the one side, but also with a deep understanding of geoanalytical areas and geoanalytical insights. Mm. What do you like most at the geospatial industry? Is it the community? Is it just networking? Is it presenting the solutions? What do you like most when you pass by here? I think it's all of that. Um, it, it's of course a community. It's like a little, little bit like a family, family meeting, a big family meeting. So you see a lot of people you know for years. And um, but on the other side, I, I, and this is for me personally, the, the, my my personal driver is of course the technology. Mm -hmm. uh, what you can see here is it's always something which uh, is, is is fancy, which is uh, something which is uh, with a wow effect. Um, and, and, and this is something where you can see that the innovation in the geo, in the, in the spatial industry, is not at its end, not at all. So, mm -hmm. uh, and therefore, I think we are going into a situation or into an era where, on the one side, you have um, a lot of new sensors like mm -hmm. uh, IoT and, and things like that. that. That's one topic which is getting very interesting so that you have a lot of new data uh, data sources. The second one is everything around imagery. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's not only drones, but it's also satellite imagery where we have a lot of developments over the last years and we can expect a lot of development over the next years where we can see more and more 
nearly real-time data, uh, but also data which are more and more accurate, which can be used right away in, in, in geographical models. Um, and on the, on the third part, it's also the, the innovation on the, on the computing side, so mm -hmm. where we have cloud systems, where we have big data systems, where we have possibilities of analyzing huge data models, which we didn't have in the past. So that's, mm -hmm. that's something which triggers me and which makes it always interesting to, to look around here. I'm always taking two, three, four hours in InterGeo to look around what's going on here and there. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the international community you have here. Mm -hmm. It's not only a German one, it's really not only European, it's really a global community. Mm -hmm. I saw people from Japan today, people from, I met people from China who were, were on the way to InterGeo. It's, it's really, it's, it's, it's a, gl a global melting pot in the geo industry. Wow. Perfect last words here for the short chat here at InterGeo. Thank, Thank you very much, Jürgen Schumacher from S3. Thank you, Denise. Thanks.